um, okay in this video lecture uh, we discuss the input requirement set its concepts and its application in applied microeconomics to understand input requirement set uh, let us suppose that a firm produces a single output that is that is y okay so this is this is not nothing else this is not the uh, production plan this time rather this is this is the output all right so uh, as we know that net output bundle is noted by output minus input why is output so this is the output and this is the associated uh, input factor the minus sign represents the the payments payments to the factor of production that is money outflow so that, that's why this is it has a negative sign and it's not a single input though output is single but in a factor input is not a single one rather it is uh, it is a vector of factor inputs such as land labor capital etc moreover we can also use some other goods to, produ to produce this uh, good Y, right? For example, uh, an automobile company uses tire produced by an other company to produce a car. So that's why the same applies here. So if you know about the output and the associated input uh, vector, then the input requirement set can be reported as so input requirement set is read by capital y it should be noted this is the associated output to produce this output the input requirement set is generated by v of y and it is equal to x is a vector which is the n dimensional real space and all the dimensions are positive because you can see that it is a positive sign so it means that you are using positive inputs. You are using positive inputs. So this, since there is no concept of negative factor input, that's why it has a positive sign. So this is the vector of input. It exists in the, you can also report this as, it is. it, it belongs to the uh, n-dimensional real space as well. Or you can simply say that X is in n dimension positive real space such that this much output is produced with this much factor inputs is in the production possibility set. It means that it is a production plan. This is the output. This is the associated inputs and this production plan this is a single production plan this belongs to the before further discussion you guys are requested to like this video subscribe to show academy and press the bell icon to get regular updates of this channel production possibility set the production policy possibility set consists of this production plan as well as the rest of the production plan which is not which are not described here and it contains all the short run, the long run, the optimal, the sub-optimal, all possible production plans. So this is one of the plan which is in which the output and the input requires are specified and it belongs to the production possibility set. The input requirement set can be explained with the help of the following example. Look at it. The first example is associated with the, impl, uh, the input requirement set is the isoquant. As we know that isoquant shows the various combination of two factor inputs such as labor and capital, where each combination shows the same level of output, other things remaining the same. So you know that the isoquant can be uh, presented as Okay, look, look at this diagram and extract the input requirement set from it. X is in RN. 
in this case it is in the n is equal to 2 because it has a two dimensional real space this is the first the vertical dimension and this is the horizontal dimension all right so the input x is the uh, input factor which is in the two dimensional real space with positive dimensions such that x is in the input requirement set of y x is in the input requirement set to produce this much output and so this is the this is the y this is the this is the production function which can produce by this x this labor in capital and x is not in any v prime uh, v of y prime and other input requirement set which is beyond the reach of the producer so it means that it shows a higher budget right and it will also show a higher production level so you can see that x is in v of y so this is this is the feasible output so it y is the feasible output which can be produced by this budget line or you can call it iso cost line so all these combinations are what they are minus x right why up there you can see this is positive and this is positive as well but why the input requirements it has a negative sign this just shows the payments payments to the uh, factor owners right so this is payment to the labor this is payment to the capital so the negative side just means that the money outflow the money outflow since you pay to the labor you pay to the capital that's why it has a negative sign so that's why we put a negative sign with the factor inputs such as uh, this one okay so what we conclude is x is a factor uh, is a vector of input it belongs to the two dimensional real space such that x can produce y it is in the input requirement set of y this entire is the input requirement set and it can produce this much output right and x is not in v, v uh, y prime so there can be any other hypothetical uh, iso cost line which can which can be x prime right which can be x prime so this budget line this hypothetical or dotted budget line shows a higher level of uh, factor inputs but since the budget is limited so that's why you cannot afford you cannot attain you cannot utilize this budget so that's why x is not in any other input requirement set which can produce y prime so this is an other input requirement set and this can produce y prime which is greater than y 